Johnson. Weaver. They were good men. What is Walker after? He's lost it. Ever since that shit went down with Vaughn, I should have stopped him then. You know, Vaughn was worthless. Sure. But it didn't have to go down that way. What did you do? There was, uh... I thought someone was gonna shoot me. This is our village, Vaughn. These are fucking allies. She had a weapon. Yeah, she had a gun. Well, I don't see no fucking gun. No, she had a weapon. See? She left me no choice. You gotta be kidding me. You're done. You have wasted too much of my fucking time as it is. No, you can't do this to me. You did this to you. No, this is your fault. You kept riding me. Oh, Christ. Pushing me. You don't. You don't. Oh, man, my dad is gonna hear what you did to me. You fucking worm. You cry to your daddy? That what you're gonna do? Every single time you fuck up, you put the blame on someone else, don't you? Anytime you're in trouble, you just wait for that daddy of yours to swoop on in, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Your daddy, he ain't here. Fuck you. I'm a good soldier. I'm a good soldier! You are a worthless fucking human being. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Vaughn, give me your weapon. Come on. Walker. I've had enough. you do he was done well now he's done besides if I didn't kill that worthless poke whole village might have come after us hey this ain't right Walker You know the rest. I know you didn't testify. You kept him out of the brig. I should have said something. Then we wouldn't be in the shitstorm. No. You did good. Tell that to my soldiers he just shot. Find anything at Skull? This was in the computer lab.
And Jay Skell? Come on, we gotta move. Shit. All right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with Aurora. Now, Maurice Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Ayana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO? Who's working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with mad shells. Cave? You know what? It's, it's cooler than it sounds. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. It's my fault. All of this. I can fix it. Yeah. The answer's the drones. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. They tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover of Aurora. All he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a friend. Yeah. I did too. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. Go, go, go! Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Hey, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. And we have a plan to make the world better. You, know, you killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen to become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, they just, they don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You, you gonna turn me over? No. Good old Nomad. You always were righteous. That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. We need to get out of here. That's the way out. We vent toxic fumes through there. It might kill us. They will definitely kill us. Where's Fat Zabi? Where is Fat Zabi? The hell, Vaughn? Been at this for days. You gonna keep talking to him or you gonna do something? Yeah, well, waterboarding doesn't work, so... I don't know what else to do. You don't know what to do? I'm gone. I'm gone. Hey, what the hell, man? Uh, let him be. Breaking shins is illegal. Zabi Korjas. The valley you call Pandora's box. Please! Order up. 
lunch. It's time to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, now you know we can't be doing that shit. Christ's sake. But you want to split hairs over what's legal and what's not? Shit, this ain't nothing compared to what would happen if we handed them off to a real contractor. We used to work with this, uh, badass blonde-haired bitch from South Africa. She loved torture. Took pleasure out of it, but let me tell you something. She got answers. Yeah, now that was a confession you could count on. Goddamn daddy's boy Vaughn. Taking his instructions out of his FM, playing office politics. You really want to work with a shitbird like that? Wouldn't you rather have a, a competent contractor in your corner? Yeah, well... Not a bad day's work. I'll have my medium rare. Oops. <laughs> it's your problem. You guys are tasked to me. You're my thugs with guns. I'm gonna be real clear with you, Vaughn. We're here to babysit you. We don't answer to you. Now, you just stay out of our way. We'll roll you over. Ooh-ah. Who the hell are you? My name's Nomad. You were building drones for Walker and Stone? I... I was arrested for protesting. They made me work. Making war machines is the last thing on my to-do list. Yeah, well, a lot of people weren't sure what happened to you. Let's go. I'm sure more trouble's on the way. How'd you find me? Daigoro Ito. Stone said the outcasts were all dead. Not all of them. What do you know about Stone? How should I know anything? Uh, he seemed to know Cole Walker pretty well. They were best frenemies, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Whew. I just can't decide where I'd rather be. Blistering cold or this shithole, or out rancid heat, humidity down in Bolivia. Uh, Bolivia, any day of the week. <laughs> you know, I, uh... I got this buddy, Stone, from the Rhett teams. He, uh, he set up his own shop, doing contract work down in Mexico. He says down there, the weather is sweet, and women are soft. Yeah, what's the Rhett team? It's retaliation teams. Super secret squirrel shit. I thought we were super secret squirrel shit. <laughs> Not like me and Stone and the other two bruisers on his team. Hang on. Three targets coming out of the building, 12 o'clock, they have rifles. Ready. 325 meters. Roger that, 325. Hold center. Send it. <laughs> targets down. I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> now, look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. Misery loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. <laughs> Target's down. Yeah, I don't know about old Mexico. You know, me and Stone, we, uh... Man, we never got along too good, anyhow. Hey, you didn't fart in my rack, did you? How's it going? Yeah, it's been quiet. Yeah. Wake me up if, uh, things get thrilling. I first heard about Stone a while ago. Shh. 
shit. Are you one of Walker's men? One of his wolves? No. Look, let's get out of here first, then we can talk. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Walker? Paula Madeira. Please, call me Cole. Paula is Skeltech's most brilliant engineer. Now, now. I've seen your uh, designs, ma'am. I'd say that brilliant, that's an understatement. And I've seen your resume. It's heavily redacted. <laughs> yeah. So I take it that, uh, that's not for the field test. No, that won't be ready for a few months. Wow. I want to ask you, the, uh, work you're doing on deep learning AI controlling these drones, how's that going? Excuse me? Using deep learning AI? How? Specifically, uh, data mining, target identification. We haven't, um, explored those options yet. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you have the top computer scientists in the world developing some sort of supercomputer and you, uh, haven't explored those options yet? He's talking about Maddox. He's talking about Project Dave's. Imagine it. Using this beast of a computer, predictive analytics, finding terror threats, eliminating them with drones. You want to build a super intelligent computer, and the first thing you want to do with it is kill people? Oh, man. First thing I want to do is keep the free world safe. I'm sure that you, uh, well, you understand that. And who's going to keep the free world safe from Project Deus? <laughs> How could you? I want nothing to do with this. Don't... Just... Paula! <laughs> Jace... If she's truly brilliant... She'll come around. So you and Walker were pals, huh? What the hell, Cole? That kid had friends in high places. We here to make the world a better place. We here to get a promotion. I always thought you were a little unbridled. But you're just an asshole. Sir, the lieutenant was out of control. He was mentally unstable, a danger to us and to the entire... Don't give me that shit, nomad. If Lieutenant Vaughn hadn't killed that civilian, the pair of you would be rotting in a hole in Leavenworth. Ah, you always knew he was fucking useless. Everybody complained about his... shitty work. Goddamn sense of entitlement. You can't kill someone just because he's bad at his job. We are here to complete a task, sir. Would you sacrifice our mission? Would you risk our lives just because that kid's daddy is a senator? You're out of line, Walker. What are you gonna do, sir? You gonna charge me? You know something that'd be worth it? This here's about what's right. What's right? Murdering an officer of the United States Army is right? What's right is getting an incompetent counterintelligence officer off the goddamn battlefield. Who the fuck? What's right is protecting our mission from a privileged brat who fucks our shit up worse than the enemy does. Colonel, you cannot What's right is standing up for something? Even though we got a sniveling hypocrite as a boss, a man with no balls, no vision. Walker, ease up. You listen to your friend, Colonel. You're ghosts. But you're not untouchable. I can't stand this shit anymore. Fuck are we doing working for these assholes? They don't care how hard we work. They got no fucking idea about what it is we do. Listen, I stay because we do try to do us right. Okay? No, this chain of command. Goddamn sanctimonious bastards! You are a plague on this earth! 
You want to do us right, well, you can. Not here. Are you quite finished? Yep. Yeah. I think I am. Walker criticized those generals for sacrificing civilians, but now he's doing the same. I would never do such a thing. Project Deus is supposed to be the end of human history, right? The beginning of transhumanism? Project Deus sounds dangerous. It would be a disaster if Sentinel got its hands on the technology. It's something we must protect. I assure you, Project Deus has very sound values. Yeah, sure. Of course. If you doubt that we're up to your standards, Christina, you should join us. It all fits in here? That's a DNA-based flash drive. You could practically fit the Library of Congress in there. Good luck. There are other ways we could help one another. Speak to me when you have the time. Now, aren't you looking riled? Are you running from somebody or to somebody? Laugh all you can. Have you thrown down with that son of a bitch, Walker? <sighs> a few weeks back, he caught some of us breaking the rules. Did you guys ever hear the one where Little Red Riding Hood goes into the forest? But this time, <laughs> she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> <laughs> so she's headed to Grandma's. And what do you know? Big bad wolf grabs her. And he says, no, I got you. And I'm going to screw you all alone. <laughs> hey, Will. So Little Red pulls out her gun. And she hikes up her skirt. And she says, no way. <laughs> You're gonna eat me, just like the fairy tale. <laughs> Attention! Y'all having fun? Wolves! Huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians. And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. We were just... We're just trying to relax. Sir. <laughs> well, shit. I'm sorry. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. Shit seems loaded to me. Uh. What do you think? You think you belong in my wolves? You think you belong on my battlefield? Well, let's see.
was fast. I've never seen a man move that fast. If I hadn't run, I'd be dead. He killed the others. Now he's got a habit of killing his own men. He sure holds us to a high standard. He moved house after that little incident. Walker's a guy with a very clear idea of what an American soldier should be. That's not the only line you crossed. What's Walker's plan? You'll find the answers you're looking for in the Wolves HQ. It's to the south. It's called Shark Base. I'm only telling you this so that my friends don't have to hunt you down. Have fun dying. Miss Puri. You must have some idea where Mr. Skell has skidded off to. I can assure you, Mr. Stone, I have no idea. This archipelago is large. He has many friends. He could literally be anywhere. Are his friends your friends? There a problem here, Stone? Well, hello, Colonel. Cole. Miss Fury was just uh, explaining that in order to find Jay's skill, we need to start raiding houses. I'm dragging folks out into the street in the middle of the night. Your kind of mischief. Know what your problem is, Stone? You like elegance. So why don't you regale us with your military genius? How do we apprehend you? How do we apprehend Jace Scale? Well, how about we throw a little psyops? Maybe Miss Bury here, she can, uh, as she can assist you. Wait, we see who turns Jace Scale in, and then your, uh, little band of rent cops can go and collect him. Now, is that something that you think that you could handle, Stone? Battle for hearts and minds. Very convincing. And they say Jace scales the genius. All right, Colonel. I'll get right on it. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. No. Nope. There's going to be a time where you're going to have to choose between friendship and survival. Boy, oh boy. I'm just dying to see what you choose. Looks like trouble in paradise. And you said you knew who sent it. But... Ayana Puri... Of course. She tried to be discreet about it. Secret mail account. Encrypted sender. Whole deal. Sweet, really. Ayana has never been the crypto security wizard. That's her. She's the source. She sent all the videos since the beginning. She's trying to help us from the other side. I should have trusted her. She and Fox, they're very close. He's been protecting her identity. She's in trouble, and Fox is trying to help. He knew we didn't trust her. Oh, Fox. He's going to get himself killed. Fox would have looked for Ayana at Skell Invest. I've got to follow Fox and save both of them. Just keep working on that virus, genius. Time's not on our side. <clears throat> no man! You know, part of me is glad you're still alive. 
It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up. Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. The walker I knew never would have been a part of this. And he never would have killed his own. I've been trying to show you. You got no vision on what the future could be. No, man. It's not too late. You could join me. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Now you're making me kill mine. <laughs> <laughs>
Wonderland, old man. Wonderland. It's still gonna happen. This is the hot, hot part of Bolivia. Who's that? Eat my shit. <laughs> Only if you cuddle me after. <laughs> well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Did, uh... Did you and I go through part of selection together? No, it was jump school. I was in the chalk next to yours. <laughs> That's right. With that, uh, dude from Pararescue, right? First recon guys? <laughs> fun times, man. Well, I got, uh, got some more fun for you. This year's your briefing. Say, you, uh, you want some candy? Hey. Excuse me. We haven't even started this mission. Command's already talking about sending us back to the Middle East. Again? And that's one that never ends. It's because, uh, the war's easier in peace. Company man back there, who you never saw, by the way, he, uh... He believes in this fantasy, it's called Wonderland, where people never fight. It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit, but, uh, I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Say, Nomad, it's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> Look what your Wonderland got you. You are a better man than this, Walker. Nomad to Air One. I'm plugged in. Transmit that virus. Understood. We're sending now. Your man saved me some of that moonshine.
guess we're stuck here a little while longer, huh? Well, we stopped Walker from taking the drones off the island. That's not small potatoes. Y'all know what Wonderland is? Walker mentioned it. Other people working for him and Stone mentioned it, too. I heard Walker and Stone talk about it. But I never got a full explanation. Sounds like Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. Yeah, he said I couldn't stop it. Oh, forget about it, all right? This island is full of crazy billionaires. People who think they're wolves. Killer robots. And military contractors. But it is also full of really, really good people. And we got together, and we did something good, and we should be proud of that. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Look at those birds. <laughs> Those aren't birds, honey. That's fascinating. We didn't program that. Aruhi! Because you pay my bills, it don't make me your bitch. Well, I don't know how Scale took control of that sector, but it doesn't have it now. How's that? Well, you tell the big boss not to get his panties in a twist. Oh, well. I'm on the island. So with Walker gone, I guess that puts me in charge. What's next? 